Hey everyone, it's Mike from LA1 here, and welcome to the story time here at the Innovation. Take a seat. Okay, now, this is my little brother Robbie's room, and we're always telling stories in here with a VAST system, which stands for Voice Activated Storytelling, here on the HP Touch Chart. That means the room is always listening to us. So, room, can we have story time, please? Oh, wow. And just like that, the room changes to story time is today. Okay, now to actually start the story, I'm going to need everyone's help, okay? We're going to use our imagination, as awesome as they are, and reach up into this magical room, grab a handful of pixie dust out of the air. I don't see any. Oh. You've got to use your imagination, that's why. All right, we got our pixie dust. Okay, now on the count of three, what we're going to do is blow the pixie dust all around the room, and that should get our story started. Let's give it a try. One, two, three. And there you go. So keep your eyes peeled all around the room. There's something different happening on all the screens. Here we go. Now this is the story of the adventures of Peter Pan. This has all happened before, and it will all happen again. But this time, it happened in the city of London, in a quiet neighborhood called Bloomsbury, in the home of the Darling family. Peter chose this particular house because the people that lived here believed in him. It was here on a warm summer night that Peter Pan and Tinkerbell came to visit the Darling children, and the reason was to retrieve Peter Pan's shadow. Wendy, John, and Michael were fast asleep as the two of them began their search. And look over there! Lucy came to visit us. Oh. Hello, Tinkerbell! Hello, Tinkerbell! Did you find Peter's shadow yet? Snap, girl, no, you didn't. I guess not. Let's check that out. Wendy! Wendy whispered, Peter Pan, I came to find my shadow. Nana took it from me the other night while I was listening to your bedtime stories. Oh, why, hello, Peter. I've been waiting for you. Okay, that so, was a Wendy, terrible I found your shadow and I put it in the dresser drawer for you. Which looks a lot like that dresser drawer right over there. Wouldn't that be crazy if the shadow was actually hiding here in Robbie's room? Yeah? I'm thinking maybe you in the red shirt. Would you mind opening up the top drawer for me, please, that Peter Shadow free? Yeah, thank you very much. I'm kind of glad you there too. All right, go ahead, take a seat. Thank you. So Peter chased his shadow all around the room. Finally, now he is behind the easy chair. Wendy quickly sewed the shadow back onto Peter's foot, and he woke John and Michael, saying, Ha! Now I'm as good as new. Everyone ready to go to Neverland? Yo, ho! Wonderful, they shouted. So he sprinkles about Tinkerbell's pixie dust all over the darling children, and with happy thoughts, they were airborne. Come on, everybody, here we go! Off to Neverland! So they flew out the window and into the night sky. Now, I don't know if you've ever flown on your own before, but I heard that it takes a little getting used to. And for Wendy, John, and Michael, they have never experienced anything as wonderful or as exciting as soaring over the rooftops of London. But as for Nana, their dog, she wasn't very happy about it. She was supposed to be babysitting the children this particular evening. Oh, before the children knew it, they were soaring over London, gently landing on the hands of Big Ben. Look, Wendy, there it is, said Peter Pan, pointing off into the distance. Neverland. Second star to the right and straight on till morning. So with that, they flew into the air once again, playing all kinds of really fun games that you pirates like to play. Oh, they played tag, okay. follow the leader, they did loop-de-loops in and out of clouds through the River Thames until they finally saw it. Neverland! Oh, Peter, it's the most beautiful place I've ever seen, cried Wendy. Filled with dazzling rainbows, deep, dark forests, an Indian camp, mermaid lagoon, and the pirate ship, the Jolly Roger. Oh. Look out, cried Peter Pan, as Captain Hook and his pirates began firing cannonballs at them. All right, you two over here in the white shirts, would you like to be pirates today? Yes. Yes, come on over here, pirates. Oh, look at the cannon. Your cannon is smoking. All right, so when I say fly, we're going to take two shots each, okay? And pull on the rope. Ready? Aim wherever you'd like. He's going to go first, and I'll hand oh, it off to you, okay? Don't shoot at me. Aim, fire! Stop. Aren't you glad you're sitting over there? Try over here. Your second try. Ready? Aim, fire! Nice, and now the pirate princess. Ready? Aim, fire at will. Thank you for missing. Good. Ready? Aim, fire! All right, now hold your fire, hold your fire, pirates. Now, do you think you actually got Peter Pan behind those clouds? Good, because if you did, that would be a really short story, right? Yeah, but check it out. What did Peter do? He hid behind you guys. Take a look. Peter flew out of the clouds, 
he and Captain Hook began a duel to the death. Oh, it was a frightening spectacle with the slashing of sails, the clashing of swords, cutting of ropes, the chopping of mustaches, and the mincing of words. Even though Captain Hook was mean of the extreme, there was one thing that shivered his tippers. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, to arrive. And like all heroes, brave and true, Peter Pan vanquished evil Captain Hook, and last we saw him, he was trying to avoid being the main course of a crocodile's dinner. Look at my window, folks. There goes Hook. Bye, bye, Captain Hook. Have fun. Of, it's a small world. So now Peter Pan was Captain Pan. And Jolly Roger was truly jolly. With a little help from Tinkerbell's pig's nest, they set sail into the night sky, returning back to their cozy nursery in Woodsbury, where they were just in time to hear another story about Neverland. And I wouldn't doubt that as Wendy told the story, Peter Pan was very nearby, blessing the end. Now hold your hands out for pig's nest. Because it's for pig's nest. Okay, on the count of three, we know what to do. Turn on the lights back on. One, two. Three. Oh, wow. Just like that. So that's the Peter Pan room for you guys. There's one last room to show off here on the guided tour section in my room. Thanks for a virtual walk. So come on over. Right. Really show the sweet. See you next time.